Hi, Chosen for Greatness. Thank you for this question. Let's get into it. So to minimize codependency, diminishing it out of your life, we need to start on the self-love journey. And why I say this, it's because starting on the self-love journey, it's gonna bring you to awareness and also learn how to apply boundaries in your life and also how to practice self-love every single day of your life. This is crucial because with self-love practices, it is going to help you fulfill your own needs in these five areas. Emotionally is a huge one right next to mentally, spiritually, getting back with yourself physically and financially. Another thing that's gonna help you on the self-love journey is having a self-love promise so that you know that this is your go-to promise when faced with difficult decisions, difficult moments. For an example, I am recovering codependent, so my self-love promise was to be my own best friend. Like for an example, times when I felt like I needed emotional reassurance, I recognized that this was my cue to honor my self-love promise so that I can refrain from texting my past partner or other people to be there for me all the time. I would have this safe space with myself and I would have my journal so I can express and really have myself feel seen, heard, and loved on and understood by me. And then lastly, what's gonna help you is support. Whether it's a community online or in person, a program to heal codependency, or there's CODA groups. I haven't been to them personally, but I know they exist out there specifically for recovering from codependency and then also or hiring a coach so that they can support you side by side. If you are interested on taking that one-on-one -on -one self love coaching journey, you can message me and we can get started. Keep on following. I'm gonna be sharing more and more and more continuously on everything related to the self love journey, including recovering from codependency and people pleasing. Thank you for your question.